I'm here on Hogue Island, which has been inundated with water since the beginning of this mega flood on the Missouri River. And today, uh, there is some more vehicular access here at the corner of Hogue and 97th Avenue Northwest. Believe it or not, people are actually traveling over this waterway to access their homes. Some people actually have been here for the entire flood duration. Others in the other areas down here have been uh, having a more severe flood because the water level is simply higher against their home. It's all depending on elevation here. We're on the corner of Hogue and 97th Avenue Northwest. You can see the water rushing across the roadway here. And uh, this is where you have to traverse where just about a month ago, the water was about two to three feet higher here. You can see where you used to go over those fences there. And now the water has come down, but still over this waterway here, still a very dangerous place to come to attend to your home or live in your home. Many people here have sandbag dikes up against their houses that they'll have to remove when this water is completely gone. But that will be at least another month, month and a half before that happens. And then of course the great unknown, whether this flood will be back again next spring as the Army Corps of Engineers continues to try to manage the Missouri River in such a way to prevent the mega flood catastrophe that has befallen the Missouri River this year. So, um, how, how difficult has this been for you and your family over the last month? It's been pretty difficult, but um, we're one of the fortunate ones that do have flood insurance, so I think that that makes a big difference. Um, but with three kids, it's, it's really been tough, and they're not quite understanding what's going on. Um, we're just trying to get back into a home, get some normalcy back into our lives. But you're not going to be able to go back to your home here in Hogue Island. No, no, no. Our house is a total, going to be a total loss, and we're going to, we've chosen to buy elsewhere in in Bismarck. But once is enough for us. So. And you built this home. Yeah, we built this home seven years ago. My husband and myself built it, so it's got a lot of sentimental value and everything. And our all of our kids um, were born and and lived in that house up until up until now. So. It'll be a change, but... And you've been living in a camper at your in-laws' place? At my in-laws, yep, living in a camper since the end of May. And your husband works in the oil fields? And he works in the oil fields, so he's only home one week out of every three weeks, so it just wasn't feasible for us to be out every day maintaining pumps and so forth, so what we had to do is just kind of let it go, so... And that's that's got to be hard for a house you built, and as you said, uh, you know, your children, your three kids, and... Uh, we drove down to try to see it today, could not, right. but uh, it's got to be tough. Yes, it is really tough. So hopefully we'll have some closure soon between insurance and maybe getting a SBA loan. So that's what we're hoping for. And you're staying in Bismarck? Yep, we are. But uh, that, that's, you got all your belongings out of the house? Um, we got what we wanted to. Again, my husband was out of town, and with three kids, I couldn't do a whole lot, but we got the important stuff. So... Okay. Well, thanks, Cammie. Yep. So. <laughs> hey, camera shy. <laughs> yeah, this is the place that I rode out with Lynn Mills when it was about three feet more water than we're standing here right now. It's just hard to believe. 